Hey everybody, Ben with MailHanger.com. I'm doing a quick video here. Well, a little longer than quick. Um, <laughs> might ramble on for a few minutes longer than usual, but stay tuned. I promise it'll be worth watching. Um, this video is going to be about a method of compression penis weight hanging. In other words, meant to be used specifically with a product like Mail Hanger. Um, it's a method that I developed over the course of several years from firsthand experience using devices like Mail Hanger, and then I fine-tuned it to work even better with my product, Mail Hanger. Mail Hanger, Mail Hanger, Mail Hanger. I'm going to say it a bunch of times, get used to it, get over it. Anyway, so you're going to see me referencing some paper here. It's my words. It's just been a long time since I wrote it all out, typed it out, said it. Um, but it is my intellectual property. If you go to my website, look on my blog, you'll see it right there, spelled out. Um, anyway, so progressive penis weight hanging. What is it? How do you do it? Let's get into it. First of all, many men get into male enhancement, penis enlargement, specifically weight hanging with a device like male hanger. And they go about it a way that's been basically regurgitated on male enhancement forums for several years now. Um, first of all, hanging's usually talked about like it's this almost a taboo subject, way too crazy, way too aggressive or advanced for anybody to approach unless they've got at least six months of conditioning uh, with other techniques first. You know, the safer, hands-on only stuff that you have no idea really when you're using your hands pulling your penis, stretching it in a good stretch. What the hell is a good stretch anyway, right? Everybody has different levels of uh, perception, sensations, stretching sensations, even pain tolerance levels. To tell a guy to stretch his penis in yay direction, and then southward, and then northward, or whatever, you know, I'm just being a little fun with my wording here, but until he feels a good stretch, what does that mean? How does he gauge that? Well, he can't, right? So how safe really is stretching with your hands in the first place when you have no idea how hard you're supposed to pull, how hard you may be pulling, what the threshold is before you hit pain and or injury. By the time you feel pain, you may already have an injury. That's bad. So one of the main reasons I've been a, a he's such a big proponent for compression hanging specifically is you always know how much weight you're using, how much resistance, therefore, you're putting on your penis for exactly how much time, because you're watching a clock if you're smart. You don't exceed 20 minutes at a time, so you can fully restore blood flow. And you always know how much resistance you're applying in the form of the weight plate staring right back up at you. You start with a pound, maybe two pounds at the max, and then you slowly, incrementally over time, work up. But progressive penis weight hanging basically is hanging up to five days a week. That's usually how I, do, I prescribe it, so to speak. Dr. Ben here. I'm prescribing hanging. Yes, you're a very good patient. I think you have excellent potential. <laughs> anyway, so basically you hang five days a week, take the weekends off. Every Monday, you're going to start attempting, let's say as an example, five pounds now, this is a guy who's been hanging for at least a month or so. Got a little experience under his belt, literally. Um, five pounds you start with on Monday. You hang with it for 15 to 20 minutes. Everything feels great. Got an awesome stretch. Take off your mail hanger. Take a break for five. Stay wrapped because you're saving time when you stay wrapped um, rather than unwrapping and then rewrapping every set. Plus, the wrap in your penis tissues have just been compressed by your male hanger for several minutes, right? Well, that wrap, even though it gives out a little bit once you take your hanger off to restore blood flow, do a little massaging, it's best to leave things in place with the wrap so it doesn't have to recompress, plus, again, the time-saving thing. Then you hang again for another set, 15 to 20 minutes, same weight, things go great, maybe you do all three sets, things are great Monday, okay, unwrap, you're done, leave your dick alone for the rest of the day, start over Tuesday, whatever time of day you, you hang again. Tuesday, 15, 
or five pounds again. I don't know why I got my head wrapped around 15, but anyway, 15 minutes. Five pounds again, first thing Tuesday. Okay, you do three sets, they all sail by, no problems. However, Wednesday comes along and you're attempting to hang your five pound weight again. You get through 15 minutes and then you really start to feel like, oh man, this is getting tough. That's called tissue fatigue. Now, what you want to do here on Wednesday or day three, okay, your body's telling you something. You're doing something right. You're hitting tissue fatigue. That five pounds at the 15 minute mark is starting to feel like too much. Stop at 15 minutes. And then if you're following my advice, which I lay out in my guide and my life support chat on the Mailhanger Reddit group, get yourself on Amazon.com. Hopefully it's available in your country. It's available just about anywhere on the planet nowadays. Find what we call a fractional weight set, weight set, weight plate set. Say that fast five times. Weight plate set. These have sets of two quarter pound, half pound, three quarter pound, and one pound plates. A total of five pounds altogether. It's a great way for the new guy to get started with five pounds and all these different weight increment levels. And what's awesome about these fractional plates, not only do they look cool, they're small little weight plates, and they're really handy with your mail hanger, but it's an awesome way to incrementally go up or down in very small increments. So Wednesday, 15 pounds was too crazy after, or five pounds was way too heavy after 15 minutes, felt like you had to take it off. Great, take it off. Then reduce your weight by one pound and get right back to it. Try to finish that last five minutes. Stop there for the day if that's the number of sets you've worked up to, three sets. And then on Thursday, the following day, get your mail hanger back on, attempt your five pounds again, but if it again, you feel like pretty much within the first few minutes, it's too much, too heavy because of that tissue fatigue, that's great. Don't get depressed or bummed out. You can't hang five pounds, boo-hoo. Drop back down to four pounds and try to finish your weights, your, your sets for the day. Do that again the next day. Always try again with five pounds or your previous weight that you're, your, your current heaviest weight that you've worked up to. If you can't hang that weight, great, bump it down again, ride the wet, the rest of the day out with that same weight level that you bumped down to, four pounds, whatever it is. Then every Monday, you start again with your previous heavy weight, five pounds, if you're at five pounds. Try to get through all the Monday, um, Tuesday, Wednesday. If you go past day three with that weight level, however, this is when you need to add at least one pound to your weight. So if it's five pounds you're normally working with on Monday and you get through Wednesday, you know, okay, I haven't had to drop my weight at all this week. I'm at Wednesday. Something's up. I need to add a little more weight because my tissues are starting to adapt. That's great. That means you're making progress. That means the tissues are asking you for more, more resistance so that you can keep stretching farther and reach that point of no return to where the tissues become permanently elongated. So in a nutshell, that's really progressive penis weight hanging. It's right there in writing. That's how you do it. <laughs> if you want to look at it a little more slowly without having to look at my video over and over again or listen to it over and over, just go to mailhanger.com, click on that blog tab up at the top, um, and check out my blog. Um, or just hop on my live chat, ask me about it. I have no problem talking to guys about anything, any questions, love answering them. Shoot me an email if you want to. Anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry that went a little longer than the usual three to five minutes, but I feel like I did a good public service. Have a great day.